Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to solve one numerical problem related to this soil mechanics. So the problem states that the moist unit weight of a soil is 19.2 kN per cubic meter given that specific gravity or G is 2.69 and water content equal to 9.8% then determine the dry unit weight gamma d the wide ratio e the porosity n and the degree of saturation for the soil sample so by knowing the unit weight of the soil the specific gravity and the water content we will determine this unknown so we know that the given information or the given data given to us in this problem are the unit weight of the soil which is 19.2 kN per cubic meter the specific gravity which is 2.69 and it has no unit because it is a unitless because it is the ratio of the two densities the specific gravity is equal to the density of the material divided by density of water so it will cancel each other so it has no unit so it is only 2.69 value and also the water content is given to us which is 9.8 percent 9.8 percent if we change this into the from the percentage to the decimal we will get 0.098 we just divide this value by 100 so we will get 0.098 because in the equation we have to use the decimal value not the percentage now we have to find the dry unit weight so the a is the dry unit weight or the gamma d now we have to look into the soil mechanics basic equation and one of the basic equation of the soil mechanics is that the gamma d or the dry density is equal to the unit weight of the soil dividing by 1 plus w or 1 plus water content now gamma is the unit weight of the soil which is 19.2 is given to us 1 plus w w is 0 0.098 so by dividing and adding these values we got 17.5 is the dry unit weight of the soil sample in the unit of kN per cubic meter. So now to find out the B which is the wide ratio. So we have to look into the soil mechanics basic equations. One of the equations for the dry density is given to us which is gamma D is equal to the GA specific gravity into gamma W density of the water 1 plus e this is one of the equation used to find out the gamma d but here in this case we have gamma d known to us which is 17.5 specific gravity of the soil is known to us which is 2.69 gamma w is the standard for the water which is 9.81 kilonewton per cubic meter this is the standard value for the water and E is unknown to us here in this case E is unknown to us so we can solve this equation for E how so I will shift this 1 plus E into the left side and shifting this RB into the right side so I will get 1 plus E equal to the G is gamma W into gamma D I just shift this value into the right left side and the gamma D into the right side now I want to find E so I will shift this one into the right side so E will become G S into gamma W divided by gamma D plus sorry it will become minus one it here it is plus so it will become minus now all the values are known to us gamma G S is 2.69 gamma W is 9.81 which is standard for the water divided by gamma D which we found out before 17.5 minus 1 by calculating this value we got here E equal to 0 0.51 so this is the wide ratio for the soil sample now the porosity C is the porosity which is unknown to us we can find the porosity by the simple relation between the porosity and wide ratio at wide ratio the porosity is equal to the E into 1 plus E this is the basic equation between the E and the n 
So e is known dot which is 0.51 dividing by 1 plus e. So by solving this, we get the porosity equal to the 0 0.338. This is the porosity of the soil sample. Now the D is the degree of saturation for the soil sample. So we can also look into some of the basic equation, which is S degree of saturation is equal to the W into G S dividing by E multiplying it with the 100%. So this equation can be used to find out the S degree of saturation. Now W is the water content which is known to us 0 0.098. GS is also known to us and E is also known to us 0.51. So just putting the value in this equation W is 0 0.098. GS here is 2.69 dividing by E. E here in this case is 0.51 multiplying it with the hundred percent so we got by multiplying and solving this equation we got here 51.7 percent this is the degree of saturation always expressed in percentage